So today I'm gonna teach you how to use this. Okay, so the first question is, what is an audio interface? An audio interface is a way to connect your instrument or microphone to a computer. So if you have one of these, or you have one of these, or you have one of these, this is the device that connects it to your computer. If you use a microphone, they have an XLR cable, and those three holes equal this. So it plugs into it just like that. This quarter inch takes guitar cables or instrument cables, plugs in there. So if you're using this input, this knob is your gain knob. If you're using the quarter inch input, this knob is your gain knob. Some devices, like this one, this is the larger version of the one I just showed you. This is called a 2i2, which means two inputs. So, so if you notice, this one has different kind of holes. This one has different kind of inputs. You notice how this is a three-pronged input and this is a quarter inch input. These are both. You can plug the instrument cable into it there and into the middle, or you can plug your XLR cable into it. But those are universal plugs that take both. For those of you that have older gear, these five prongs in the back are your MIDI cables. They look like this, and you have to be real careful to line them up. But this has been converted into USBs now. So old gear will have these cables, so having an interface that has those ports on the back, and a lot of old keyboards will have that port, but that's what that's for. Now let's, let's look at the front. So you have your gain knobs. So you have this knob controls that input, this knob controls this, this input, and then these big knobs, or, or there should be one that says monitor or volume. Um, that's your master volume, okay? You'll have things called 48V, which means 48 volts. You're, you use that for phantom power, which I'll talk about later. Um, instrument, if you're plugging in an instrument with an instrument cable, you can click that. It kind of tell, tells it that that's what kind of cable's coming in. Uh, and then a direct monitoring is, is kind of for your headphones. And then on the back, you have your outputs. So this would just take speaker cable if you were wanting to run a speaker. One of these other ones has these red and white uh, audio cables. So like if you had a computer speaker, you would want ports like this. If you were having really nice studio monitors, you would want ports like this. But this one has a bunch of options. This is why this one's like almost twice as much as this one. But th this one's pretty much the only one you need. But if you wanna get really creative, I would suggest getting a larger one. Alrighty, so now I'm gonna hook, I'm gonna hook my Scarlet Solo. I'm gonna hook this one into the, the computer. So if you notice on the back, you have a USB port. This one has a small one, while this one has a larger one. So we're gonna plug that in, and then I'm gonna plug this into the computer. Okay, so I got my interface. I plugged it into to the computer, and you can tell because this light cut, came on. First thing to do is turn all the volume knobs down, okay? Then, then you're gonna take your instrument, and you're gonna plug it into the computer, or, or into the audio interface. And now I'm gonna start playing, okay? And nothing's happening. It's because I got the gain knob turned all the way down. So I wanna slowly start raising it and you see it's just, now the lights turning green which is telling you that you have signal and you see now it's kind of turning yellow that means i'm about to peak if i keep going it starts turning red that's telling me that i'm too distorted sounding so i'm going to back it back once it turns red 
turn it back down to where you can play and play as loud as you're gonna play. And as long as it's green, see right, right here, it starts turning yellow. But as long as it's green, that's telling you that you have a nice, a nice strong signal. And every time you play, that should come up. If you're not getting any lights on your interface, that could be a problem. Okay, I got my bass guitar plugged into my audio interface. I got my interface plugged into the computer. I have the gain knobs already set. Now it's time to start recording. Okay, so I got my sound trap pulled up. I'm gonna hit enter studio. Discard if it's there. We're gonna click music because we're doing a music project. I'm gonna come in here and click add new track because I wanna add a new instrument. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hit voice and microphones or guitar and bass amp. These are the two you wanna use with your audio interface right now. Uh, since I'm playing a bass guitar, let's go in here and click bass amp. Now the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna tell it what interface you're using. Most of the time it's gonna be set to default. So you gotta come in and go, I want it to be my interface. My interface is called the Scarlet Solo, so I'm gonna check on that. And then once you're done, you're gonna test it by clicking this button here. Hit start test and then just play. And then it'll automatically do a volume check for you. Okay, you can click this button here and pick all these different kind of sounds depending on what, what style. Uh, we'll do rockabilly for right now. Um, but yeah, you can, you can add stuff. You can even come down here and hit add effect and just choose all sorts of things. But uh, anyways, once we're there, you're gonna hit the R and it's gonna ask you if you're using headphones and always use headphones. If for some reason you're not, click that one. But, but if you aren't using headphones, it's gonna cause a lot of feedback. But uh, anyways, I'm gonna use headphones and then I'm gonna hit record. It'll count me in. Two, ready, in. <laughs> Stop, and there it is. And I can even play it back for you. And some of the cool things that you can even do is you can come in here and you can change all the effects. Let's say that I wanna add, let's do an auto wah. So you click that, and then you can even hear how that sounds. And if you want to get really crazy, you can just keep adding effects. Let's add a delay, and then let's just let's turn up, you know, just start turning knobs and experimenting. <laughs> So there you go. There's, there's kind of how to hook up your interface. For those of you that bought a USB mic, let me show you how to hook that up. This is the Samson satellite. It's pretty cool because it has little legs on it. You can actually pull these legs down and it has its own built-in tripod, okay? Which is pretty cool for when, you, when you're on the go. Uh, this is the one I travel with a lot. Uh, because it folds up nice and neat. Um, I have my my uh, headphone and gain control here. This is actually a volume knob. On some USB mics, this is a gain knob, and so like it would work the same as the gain knob on the audio interface. You would just turn it up until it starts to clip and then turn it back down. Um, if you don't have that, I'll show you uh, how to change the sensitivity level on the computer, because sometimes you have to do it from the computer. Okay, if you notice on this one here, we have little shapes. Uh, this one has three different modes that, that I can change from. One is the circle mode. This is the 360 degrees. It's gonna pick up everything from 360 degrees all the way around the mic. This is a great mode to be in if you wanna record the whole entire room. You would just put it on that mode and set the microphone kind of in the center and it would grab sound from all the sides. The other one is the cardio mode. This is 
how most microphones that we use in class are it picks up my like it picks up sound from the front so like you would you would put it on that mode if you were going to sing or if you were going to play your horn into it okay um, the one that looks like a figure eight that is that is the uh, like the bi directional one uh, it means it, it picks up from the front and the back but not the side so so that's perfect for an interview if you are interviewing someone you you can sit across from each other and you can put this there and then it pick up sound from the front and the back equally but it won't get any of the other stuff and yeah one last thing this one has a headphone port on it this one has a headphone port on it. It's strongly suggested that if your microphone has a headphone jack, use that instead of the computer because this will eliminate any latency or lag that you may have.